Ray Marinko was with us from 1961 to 1965. He and his wife Betty, and she was a section director, and he was our sports director, and eventually became our junior boys section director. He was the captain and best basketball player at Springfield College. That's where Don Hayes met him when they were both students at uh, Springfield College in Massachusetts. And that's where James Naismith invented basketball. So here was Ray Marinko, <laughs> the center and the captain and the best player on the basketball team where it was invented. <laughs> Everywhere he went, everybody knew Ray Marinko. <laughs> and because he was the big sports hero, a big handsome guy. When we moved to Twingo, we said, we, we got to have a land water relay race. And that's what it was called, running and canoeing and swimming. In those early years, it really wasn't the best because we only had two, three, or four teams, and uh, all of the campers, the ones, <laughs> the ones that couldn't run very well, the ones that couldn't paddle very well, they were spectators. Eventually, Don and I refined that to get everybody in, but then Ray Marinko developed cancer very badly, and he passed away before he could come to camp that summer. And so Don Hayes and Harry Brown and George Simonette came and said, what do you say we do this? We change it to the Ray Marinko Relay, which we did. And it's been like that ever since 1966. When uh, Peter Hopkins and Wally Delahaye shared the waterfront direction, Wally did a large number of things to refine it, to make it as recreational and almost non-competitive. He was the one that literally got the whole camp in. And if they had a broken leg, they became the manager of their team and, and they went with one less canoeist. Um, Wally made it what it ought to be. Thank <laughs> you.